formed from men. Whether the head or members speak, it is Christ who speaks. He speaks in his role as the head, ex persona capitis, and in his role as the body, ex persona corporis. What does this mean? The two will become one flesh. This is a great mystery, and I am applying it to Christ and the church. That is Ephesians 5, that's 1 to 32. And the Lord himself says in the gospel, so they are no longer two, but one flesh. Matthew 19, verse 6. They are, in fact, two different persons, yet they are one in the conjugal union. As a head, he calls himself the bridegroom. As a body, he calls himself bride. That is quoting St. Augustine. As a head, he calls himself the bridegroom. As a body, he calls himself the bride. That is why I always say that what is related to Christianity, the union of Christ and the church, is marriage. Where the two has become one. And Christian marriage is a marriage between Christ and Jesus. Hello? Yeah. In Christian marriage, somebody marries himself. It's a marriage of Christ and Jesus. And Jesus and Christ is the same. That's why two are one. It's, Christian marriage is a mystery. That's what is related to Christianity. And that is why any man who is maltreating his wife he said that Christ is maltreating is the church. The church is the body. Christ is the head. That is marriage. The man is representing Jesus Christ as the head. The woman is representing Jesus Christ as the body. So marriage actually is the marriage of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ. The head and the body being one. Any woman who disrespects her husband, he said that the church has the right to disrespect Jesus Christ. That's what makes marriage the most dangerous thing on earth. Marriage is the most dangerous thing on earth. Because it's never about the male and the female. It's about Christ and the church. And your reward is according as well. How you represented the Christ or how you represented the church. And the Christ is both the head, the, the head and the body. Both the bride and the groom. And the bride. So you are representing him as the bride. And you are representing him as the bridegroom. So when he comes, he will replay you as you represented him. That's what makes marriage very dangerous. And many people don't know. And people are just, I want to marry. You might get in jail tomorrow, you get out. Because they don't even know what they're doing. It's a mystery. Yeah, that was a mystery. It's a mystery. Christianity is a mystery. 